Well, here we are again with our scale model tool organization journey. Up today is tier four tools, what I call the close box, which is this black U.S. General toolbox. Of course, it came from Harbor Freight. Um, the toolboxes they have there, pretty darn nice. I am, uh, I'm still pretty impressed with it. I'm happy I got it, and it. It holds a lot of tools. As you can see, it has many drawers, some of them pretty uh, thin. Uh, they, they just fit well to the kind of tools that we use. Okay, we're back. The tripod is precariously placed uh, on top of my chair. It's taped for security with the best masking tape that money can buy. And the front of it is resting on one of the drawers of the close box. So if it pitches over and, and, and you hear a scream, um, that's why. And probably that's what as well. So on top of the, on top of the box we've got, this is a Proxon uh, hot wire thermo cut, thermo cutter. This is not the fence it came with. I made that one myself. Uh, this is insulation foam that you put on the outside of your house. And what this tool does is it heats it up just where the wire is and you can cut with it. And you can get as intricate as you want to. The kerf is only the thickness. Well, the kerf, best case scenario is the thickness of the wire. But the hotter you need to go the bigger the curve's going to get, because the bigger it's going to melt. So as you can see, um, it's an interesting little tool. The fence it came with is the fence it came with is only about an inch tall, and I wanted a tall fence so that I could cut thin sheets. In this manner. pretty satisfying thing to use. I like it for buildings, making the, you know, building fronts or, uh, I guess you would call that a facade. Or if you just need to make up a jig and you need, uh, and you need some kind of a spacer temporarily, you measure out, measure out your distance and, uh, Cut yourself a spacer. Uh, I've used it for making bricks before. Measure out how big you want your bricks to be. And as long as you're careful that you don't melt the ends of that one like that happened. Uh, in just a few minutes, you can have yourself a whole bunch of bricks to build up the front of your building. There's also some tricks as to take these and to throw them in a bucket with a bunch of rocks and bash them around. And they get rounded and uh, textured like a, uh, like a real brick would be. I don't know what to do with this stuff now. My garbage can's blocked. Okay, so there's another tool. Oh, this also, before I get past this, you'll notice there's a there's a, uh, a slot in that. That is so that the wire can, can pass through there when this piece is moved back. So that you can make angled cuts. To, you know, so that you could butt, make a 45 and butt two pieces together. Uh, this is another tool that I made. It's, it's just a piece of uh, thin plywood with a nail in it and it's for cutting circles let's say you want to cut a, uh, a two inch diameter circle you would set this to be half of that and then you come out here you'd mount your work piece to it you turn on your device you run that in and it's going to be right at two inches when it's all over 
and you just spin that around it. And you end up with either A, a hole, or a disc. Okay, we're back. Readjusted into a more OSHA approved tripod setting directly on the ground. The, uh, the other main item on top of the close box is this item here. It's one of those, uh, it's apart from being dusty as all get out, it's one of those things that people put on their desk and put their important papers in. You know, adults. Anyhow, what I've done is put in uh, sprue trees so that I can find them easier, easily, easier, easier, easier. Uh, not much else to say about that, except you run into an armor kit, and you're going to have, I mean, at least that many trees. And what I like to do on those is to, like, you might have A, B, C, D, and E tray or E uh, tree. Put a piece of tape on there and label that as A. That way you can find it a whole lot easier because after a while they all start looking the same so that's a little bit of organization for that that sits there i try not to put anything else nearby it because you know a flat surface tends to collect items and I, I try to keep that clear so that so that i don't have any problems getting in and getting in getting a hold of my sprue trees the only other item up here is this uh wee little bucket boss that fits into a mug and I've got my tweezers in it at the moment uh, that that might be where the tweezers live from now on they haven't uh, 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 you know I whenever I whenever I get something new such as that I'll uh, I'll do I'll do something with it and then um, I'll see how that goes you know it's not I'm not married to the tweezers being in there if uh, later on down the road I find something that I have about that many of that, that would fit in there better, that's what it will be. But for now, it's the tweezers, and it'll probably stay because it's probably been close to a year, and I haven't found anything else to, uh, to go in there that would be better. Okay, that does it for the top of the, uh, of the close box. In our next videos, we'll start going through the drawers and seeing what all is in there. So, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell that's right next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when I got a new video up. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Party!